Hi there, and welcome back to a new edition of Anthony Reads. And today I'm going to be reading Chapter 3 of Owl at Home by Arnold Lobel. Tear Water Tea Owl took the kettle out of the cupboard. Tonight I will make tear water tea, he said. He put the kettle on his lap. Now, said Owl, I will begin. Owl sat very still. He began to think of things that were sad. Chairs with broken legs, said Owl. His eyes began to water. Songs that cannot be sung, said Owl, because the words have been forgotten. Owl began to cry. A large tear rolled down and dropped into the kettle. Spoons that have fallen behind the stove and are never seen again, said Owl. More tears dropped down into the kettle. Books that cannot be read, said Owl, because some of the pages have been torn out. Clocks that have stopped, said Owl, with no one near to wind them up. Owl was crying. Many large tears dropped into the kettle. Mornings nobody saw because everybody was sleeping, sobbed Owl. Mashed potatoes left on a plate, he cried, because no one wanted to eat them. And pencils that are too short to use. <laughs> Al thought about many other sad things. He cried and cried. Soon the te kettle was filled up with tears. There, said Al. That does it. Al stopped crying. He put the kettle on the stove to boil for tea. Al felt happy as he filled his cup. It tastes a little bit salty, he said. But tea water tea is always very good. Well, that takes care of chapter three of Owl at Home. Join me again next time as we go with chapter four. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for viewing.